One day, Chibiko was standing in his kitchen looking blankly at a wall. He felt stuck. He had woken up and cleaned himself as he would on any other day. But now that he was up and ready to cook, he wasn't quite sure what he wanted. He still had plenty of things in the fridge, but none of them felt very exciting. What was that word he just used? Exciting? Did he want to eat something exciting? What might make food exciting? Well, for one thing, it would probably have to be something new and different. And those words didn't describe the food already in his house at all. Chibiko thought for a bit. He thought so hard that sweat started to appear on his head. Aha! He suddenly shouted to himself. There's an interesting looking restaurant that the bus always goes past. Maybe I should go and see what's there. Chibiko suddenly felt very excited. He left his kitchen, went out his front door and walked to the bus stop. While waiting for the bus to arrive, he started to think about what kinds of food the restaurant might have. Maybe it had curry with chocolate and strawberry instead of meat and potatoes. Cereal with orange juice instead of milk. Steak made from broccoli. Spaghetti where the pasta was actually very long worms. Chibiko shuddered. He didn't like that last idea very much at all. Before he could wonder what else might be on the menu, the bus arrived. He climbed aboard, paid his fare, and rode to the new restaurant. It was easy to spot it from the window. It looked like it had a giant crocodile mouth coming out of its roof. When he approached it, Chibiko found that the restaurant was take-out only. He couldn't eat there! This made him feel a little bit disappointed, until he saw the menu. The specials included a pterodactyl drumstick, stegosaurus soup, and a T-Rex burger. This was going to be a difficult choice. What do you recommend? Chibiko asked the turnip who was in the service window. Do you really have dinosaur meat? I'm afraid I can't say that we do, the turnip replied. Although the pterodactyl drumstick might be close to the real thing, but each order comes with a virtual reality dinosaur experience to help the customer get home. Chibiko wasn't entirely sure how his meal would help him get home, but he was hungry and so he ordered a T-Rex burger. Coming right up, the turnip said. Chibiko took his burger and put on the glasses that came with his meal. He turned to see if the bus was arriving yet and... Ah! There was a T-Rex at the bus stop! Chibiko had heard that standing still stopped a T-Rex from seeing you. But this one was coming towards him. He had no choice but to run! Holding his burger tight, Chibiko ran as fast as he could, away from the restaurant and through the center of town. He looked back. The T-Rex was getting closer. He ran and ran and ran and ran until he reached his house, fumbled with his keys, raced inside and locked the door behind him. From within his living room, Chibiko could see the T-Rex peering at him through the window. He was starting to feel very, very scared until he took off the glasses. The T-Rex vanished. Wow, Chibiko thought to himself. That was amazing. And the turnip man was right. My meal did help me get back home. 
and so Chibiko enjoyed eating his T-Rex burger. It tasted a lot like a regular hamburger, only bigger. But at least he felt like he had gotten enough exercise to deserve it.